I'm going to take this um, super light filler, okay, microfill from on airplanes. And I'm going to fill all my imperfections before I start to cover this wing. Now with the paper that I'm going to coat this with, it could actually create its own little sets of problems. It's quite obvious when the paper dries where your imperfections are, so kind to get as many of those out of the way as you can. Now if this wasn't going to be just a super lightweight aircraft made for 3D, I'd uh, probably take take that to the table saw and I'd hack in a balsa leading edge. Doing it this way, the theory is not to crash it, obviously, but they don't take very many wrecks when you when you got them like this. You crack it up, you'll break the wing right in half. But you know the irony of that is, when you're using foam and they're paper covered, if you break the wing, you just take a little bit of glue, lumbers, and patch it. strength of these wings is obtained from the paper anyway. I'm going to show you an experiment before and after on this. On these wings to be able to determine how much of the strength is achieved just from the uh, presence of the paper. It's absolutely amazing. Everybody that I show how to do these paper covered planes it just surprises them how much more stiff they become with that paper on them. That ought to do us until those are dry. We'll just set those off the side. Now here's an example of two wings, one which I have not got covered yet. Now this is the high density pink foam, obviously. You can see how much that flexes. I take exactly the same wing with exactly the same pressure once it's coated with the paper. You've got almost no flex at all and when you fly them. It's the same logic. And that paper adds almost no weight to those airplanes. I'll show you that in just a second too. Now you can see how fast that filler sands smooth when it's done. actually smoother than the rest of the wing. Okay, now to cover that wing, I'm just using masking paper that you buy down at Lowe's or Home Depot. It's very, very light. Take the size that you need. But lengthwise, now I, there are a couple of ways that I can do this. If the wing were a little smaller, I usually like to set it as a pattern so that I can come over with the section in the front. But maybe I'll do this on this one. I usually start with the back segment anyway. And you want to make sure when you set that, you set it in exactly the position that you're going to be. So that your glue on this one goes immediately right onto that one. Before I actually get very far on that one, though, I want to cut both sides of them prior to my gluing so I can do it much faster. And I actually start applying the glue. Kind of critical to do that relatively fast as far as the glue goes. I set that one off the side for a second. Like I said that one goes in that position. I'm going to turn it right up there like that. I'm going to go to gluing. Now when you glue this, you want to glue just a little bit around the back side as well so that you've got something for your, when you uh, wrap around your aileron section. I usually cut these out and I'll use the same aileron, so I'm using lightweight ailerons as well. 
It's a lot stiffer than you'd realize when I get the paper on it. Get right there, right now. I'll run that around there so that I've got. It doesn't matter if I'm a little wide of where my glue actually goes. It's extremely important if I'm too narrow. I'll make sure I've got plenty of glue space. And I'm going to glue on my sheet. huge amounts of glue on these things, all it does is creates problems on the paper itself. Been known to uh, come along and use dry on this one side, but I find that on this on large surfaces like this, they just work better if they've got both of them. I'm going to go ahead and put that down on there, and I want to make sure I've got a quarter to a half inch, somewhere in that area. It's going to come around behind and loop. So you do want to work quick. You get all of these little wrinkles out you can, even though if they do wrinkle up, you can actually sand them later on. Okay, now I'm going to pull that once I've got my one section committed. I'm going to pull that tight. all my air bubbles out of it. Now when you flex the wing, you get stress marks in it, so you want to keep it somewhat flat against your table. You can see a few of those anyway, even though you try not to. I'm ready to go in the back. Same logic holds true. Since I cut the paper, I can have simultaneously, I can see where I'm at. Now as these things cure, They'll look like they're starting to bend one way or another. It's really extremely important that you put these on the same time. If you try to put one on one day, let it cure. Put the next one on the next day, it's going to be so warped you won't be able to work with it. It'll just cup. I'm getting a little bit of glue here on my table. It's not a big deal to me. I can wash it off. Put your leading or your front edge of your paper about the same place you've got underneath. Then you'll get about the same overlap on the back side as you got on the front side. Bring it up, pull it in, you can see your glue squish out a little bit. Try not to just push it one direction and it'll work away from the center. I'm good there. The bottom side is still flexible. I can work out a little bit more wrinkles. Those wrinkles will pretty much go away. This stuff cures. Okay, now I've got two options on this one. One of them, I can do that leading edge right now. Or second, I can let it dry. On a small wing, I do it all in one shot, but on this one, I'm going to leave it. I'll come back and do that later after this is cured. And the reason I'm going to do that is because it's hard to manipulate that one around, and yet when it's dry, it's not a problem. So what appears to be a 10-minute process is pretty much a 10-minute process. With the exception of that front, what I'll do is I'll cut my piece prior to doing it. So next time you see this one, I'll come back and do that. But I won't do it right now, we'll do it a little bit later for you.